The Brazilian Vitor Roque, the new player of Barcelona, is a phenomenon at only 18 years old. His strength, finishing and durability are better than the most professional footballers. But is Vitor Roque really Barca's new superstar and generational talent? In this video you will discover exactly that, so sit back, relax and let's dive in. Before the start if you can, please take few seconds of your time to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you want me to upload this kind of content as regularly as possible. Who is Vitor Roque? For those who don't know his real name is Vitor Hugo Roque Pereira. He was born on February 28, 2005 in Timoteo, Brazil. He took his first football steps at the age of 10 when he joined the America Mineiro team. Playing for Mineiro, he impressed many clubs in Brazil with his great games and at the beginning of 2019, Cruzeiro brought him to their team for 300,000 euros. El Tigrinho, as he was nicknamed because of his physical constitution, continued his good games in youth categories in Cruzeiro. However, he waited until May 2021 for his first professional contract and he made his professional debut on October 12th of the same year. He came on as a substitute against Botafogo in the second half of the match in the Brazilian Serie B that ended nil-nil. But Vitor Roque played only 18 minutes in that match because the manager replaced him saying that he couldn't keep up with the pace. He waited for his first goal until February 20 of 2022 when he scored as a starter against Villanova. Atletico Paranaense was delighted with the games of young Roque and decided to activate his buyout clause of 4.7 million euros in April 2022. El Tigrinho scored his first goal in Brazilian Serie A on May 29, 2022 for a 1-0 win against Cuiaba. Since then, Roque has written only successes and in the following period he had 22 goal contributions in a total of 54 appearances. Meanwhile, the situation in Brazil is being monitored by many European giants such as Arsenal, Manchester United, Chelsea, but Vitor Roque was clear saying from the beginning that he was only interested in going to Barcelona, which Deco and the team from Barcelona took advantage of and signed El Tigrinho. In the summer of 2023, La Liga announced that there was no obstacle and that Barcelona could bring Vitor Roque in the next winter transfer window, so Vitor Roque signed a contract until year 2031 with a buyout clause of 500 million euros. But how will Roque do and is he actually a right player for a team like Barcelona? As we know, this season, like the previous couple, is not great for Barca. Barcelona is full of talent but something just doesn't fit there. How is it possible that a team with a players like Balde, Araujo, De Jong, Pedri, Gavi, Fermin, Yamal and the others cannot achieve the results that are expected of them? Watching Barcelona's matches we all notice that Barcelona has everything except for the most important, a top striker. We all know that Robert Lewandowski is a world class striker and there is no doubt about that. But these past few seasons at Barca have been terrible for him. Maybe he simply didn't fit into Barcelona's game system and it's also possible that he is just simply too old and Lewandowski is simply no longer the player in top form that he once was. Many blame his as the main culprit for Barca's failures because he needs a lot of opportunities to score a goal. So in Barcelona they hope that Vitor Roque is the last piece of the puzzle in Barca's roster. But is Vitor Roque really the next superstar? Considering the game shown by this young man at only 18 years old, his feeling for space and the ball, finishing, strength and many other virtues that adorn him, it can be said that Vitor Roque has everything to become the next star of European and world football. Of course, only if injuries bypass him and if he resists the pressure that carries with him the label of Wunderkind. At the rival stadium Santiago Bernabeu, everyone is looking forward to the arrival of Endrick, also another wunderkind from Brazil, but this time from Palmeiras. Whether these two footballers will manage to impose themselves and create a rivalry like Messi and Ronaldo once did, and whether this is really beginning of new football era, remains to be seen. And if you are a fan of these and similar stories, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell button because I'm sure you don't want to miss the next video.